Those titties are. Shut up, fool. You're mad because you weigh as much as me? No, I know. I'm not fat, my dude. I don't like it. One day you're going to get your ass beat. We're going to see that. <laughs> hey, yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of your favorite MMA sports betting channel, Bros Talk MMA. I'm your host, Utica, undeniably the illest cat around. A.K.A. Mr. Make This Pick Real Quick. A.K.A. The Parlay Prince. A.K.A. I don't got no more A.K.A.s. I'm here with my bro host extraordinaire. You know what it is. It's Ray Bucks. It's Chaco Jordan. It is. Hand me my crown. Give me my belt. The Parlay God. I'm about to bring you the best. And this is a special episode. Not just because... The UFC is finally coming back to Denver, Colorado. You know, yeah, yeah. Den, 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 Denver. Episode, you know, uh, but we have a special guest in the building. We got one of our uh, main uh, supporters, somebody uh, who goes back with us a long way. They're going to be coming in and giving us their picks and predictions based upon our analysis. I'll give you a clue. You can find them in the comments, but we'll get back to that later. So we're here to cover this uh, weekend's card here in Denver, Denver. Colorado. It's going to be a flyweight bout between Rose Namajunas going up against Tracy Cortez. Tracy Cortez is stepping in a little bit short notice leading up to this fight, but I think that she's going to be more than up for the challenge. So uh, this now went from being an eight-fight card to being a 12-fight card with a addition added just as recent as today. As we record this on a Wednesday, um, we got a welterweight bout between Evan Elder going up against Darius Flowers. Because of uh, how short notice this is, I'm going to just cut straight to the point. I'm going to be going with Evan Elder. I think the only thing that's really going up against them is that uh, they've had about a year's time since the last time they fought. They literally fought this time last year in 2023. So, uh... I'm going to be going with them, though. I believe that their body's actually going to be recovered and conditioned, whereas uh, Darius Flowers is coming off of a loss just five months ago, and uh, they're coming in about 15 pounds up from the weight that they're used to fighting at. I just don't think that they're going to be uh, that great coming in on a three-day notice. So I'll be going with Elder in this one. Who you got? I'm going with Darius Flowers. I might go with fucking Evan Elder. First of all, Darius Flowers has a little bit more fucking uh, ring action. Um, yes, he got beat up recently. A little bit more recently. Happens. That's my guy. He's going to win. It is a short notice fight. Don't have a whole bunch of research on that. But that's my guy. Definitely going to win. Better striking, in my opinion. Um, that's where I'm at. All right. Moving on, we got a, a fight in the flyweight women's division. We got Jasmine Jazz Davicius going up against Fatima Klein. We got Jazz Davicius there, 4-2 and two in the UFC, 10-3 and three overall, and 3-2 and two in their last five fights. We got Klein, they're going to be making their UFC debut. They're 6-0 and oh overall. Um, I'm going to be going with Jazz Davicius in this fight. I just think that uh, they got more UFC experience. Um, they're a dog fighter. They got good grappling, good ground and pound. Um, this Klein girl, I just don't got enough uh, footage or you know uh, insight to her. But um, I, I think that they'll be a formidable opponent. But I'm just not sure if they're UFC caliber making their debut. Who is it that you're going to be going with? They're definitely not UFC caliber. They definitely have not fought UFC caliber women. Um, Jazz the Vicious has fought the best of the best in the UFC. Um, has she won? Yes. Has she lost? Yes. But she's not. Um, I don't even think she should be in this fight, to be honest with you. Um, because Klein is. I'm not going to say trash. I'm not going to say trash. But. Not good enough to be fighting Jazz Judavicious as her first fight into the UFC. 
that just seems ludicrous to me. I got you. I feel that. I didn't know quite where you're going with that, but uh, I get it because yeah, she was gonna go up against Viviani uh, Arujo, who's like which way up which there. makes more sense, yeah. way more sense, right? Yeah. But uh, obviously, some people will have to pull out. I mean, based on um, you know, what I mean, sickness, uh, injury, uh, whatever their life ex- or things happen. But no, Judah Vicious will definitely win this one. This is definitely like a lock of the night, or one of the locks that I have for tonight, because I got a lot of locks tonight, because this is my Denver shit. I'm on my Denver shit tonight, you know what I mean? Just so you guys are aware, like, this shit's going down in my hometown. I'm getting ready to pick the best. I mean, at least for the first two fights, because we're going into the third fight, we got to... A bantamweight bout between Montel Jackson going up against Damon Blackshear. Uh, <laughs> we got Montel Jackson coming in. 7-2 in the UFC, 13-2 overall. We got, uh, and they're 4-1 in their last five fights. We got Blackshear coming in 2-2 two, two with one draw in the UFC. 14-6 with that one draw overall. Um... Two, two, and one uh, in their last five fights. So their last five fights have been in the UFC. It's been somewhat of a rough go for them. Um, They do have the edge in grappling, but I'm going to be going with Jackson in this one. I just believe that their striking is better than DeMond Blackshear's grappling. And also uh, their gas tank, uh, I believe, is better than Blackshear's. So I think that if they're able to keep this one on the feet, which I believe they will, uh, it's gonna be a long night for Blackshear. Got Jackson by like decision. I guess I gotta tell Jackson to beat it because Blackshear is definitely gonna fucking win this one. Uh, I don't see any reason <laughs> why he doesn't. Um, look, actually, it would be uh, a little bit more humble about that. This is actually one of the greatest fights on this fucking card. It's probably top three great fights on this card. Um, as far as I. Uh, being very equal and also being very uh very violent. Um this is going to be a great fight. Uh but Blackshirt, in my opinion, is going to win this fight. You know what I mean? In my opinion counts. So my opinion has been fucking pretty solid. In the last couple weeks, I'm I ain't even brought it up yet, but like, you know what I mean? My fucking opinion is super solid. We're talking about like eleven to two you know what I mean? In the last one, I mean, the one before that was also like, I don't even know the number though. It doesn't even fucking matter. I just remember what my money looked like when I fucking put it in my fucking pocket. But either way, that's what I'm betting on. That's where I'm at. Alright, alright. <laughs> so you going with Blackshear? Absolutely. Alright. Alright, moving on. We got a flyweight bout in the men's division. We got Joshua Van going up against Charles Johnson. We got Johnson stepping in on short notice. Um, I'd say about like two weeks, maybe three. So uh we got Van coming in. They're three and oh in the UFC, ten and one overall. They're on currently on an eight fight win streak. We got Johnson four and four in the UFC. 15 and 6 overall and 2 and 3 in their last five fights. I'm going to be going with Van. They're going to be the younger fighter by 11 years. Uh they got the edge in the striking and decent enough grappling I think to keep it on the feet. So uh their 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 cardio is good, but um I would say that's probably the thing that goes in the favor of Johnson. It's not very powerful. Throws volume. Uh not very dangerous, so I'm gonna be going against uh, I'm <laughs> my bad. I'm gonna be going with Van in this one. Uh, who you got, Johnson or Van? I've got to say that um, unfortunately, uh, Charles Johnson is going to jump into a van. No way. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you wanna jump in a van and do what? <laughs> I think Charles Johnson is going up. Um, I think he has a sweet tooth, right? 
things and welcome to the event. Nope, 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 nope. So I've got to take Van over Charles Johnson in this particular fight. That's where I'm at. I don't want to say more than that because I think we might get banned. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking anyway. Fucking <laughs> tripping. Uh, <laughs> next, we got a middleweight bout. We got Josh Frim going up against Andre Petrosky. We got Frim coming in at two and three in the UFC, eleven and five overall, and two and three in their last five fights. We got Petrosky. They're going to be five and two in the UFC, ten and three overall, and three and two in their last five fights. Um, I'm going to be going with Petrosky in this bout. I just believe that they're the better grappler. Uh, they're going to have more routes to victory with uh, decent enough hands for this fight, at least. Uh, their chin has kind of been a little uh, worn over these past two fights, but I don't think that Frim's going to be the guy to be able to get it done. Uh, they're, they're athletic. Uh, they can fight, but I just don't necessarily think they're UFC caliber, so I'll be going with Petrosky in this. And fight. I can agree with that. That uh, that Petrosky is the better fighter. Like he has better hands. He has better grappling. Um, great fighter. Um, this is the thing. He's gonna run into Frem. Oh, Frem is no. a high IQ fighter. Um, Frem is not exciting. Um. But what he's going to do is he's going to take enough strikes to go ahead and win the, the bout. He's going to take him down enough to win the bout. He's going to grapple him and can have more control time and win the bout. That's what he's going to do. Like, does that sound exciting? Absolutely not. But that's why Frem is going to win this bout, and that is what it is. And that's why... A lot of UFC uh, uh, bettors or, or, or whoever is betting on this is going to be sad. Well, other than me. He's no friend of mine. <laughs> Put your shitty pun back in your fucking pocket, my boy. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next bout in the women's division. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got Luana Santos going up against Mariah uh, Agapova. Uh, <laughs> we got Santos 2-0 in the UFC, 7-1 overall, and 4-1 in their last five fights. We got Agapova 2-3 in the UFC, 10-4 overall, and 2-3 and in their last five fights. Uh, I'm going to be going with Santos by sub. I just think that uh, they... Pretty much have an edge in all aspects of the fight, but it's going to be on the ground where they're actually going to be able to uh, zap uh, Agapova's energy. They're not v a very good grappler. So uh, Agap Agapova has got a lot going on right now uh, in their life personally. So um, I just think that this fight is is just something that they they need to do, which I would say is probably the only thing that plays in their favor. They got nothing to lose. So they very well could come out the hungriest they ever have, you know, in their career. But at the same time, um, I just feel like that's a lot of adversity to deal with outside of the cage to actually have any sort of type of success inside the cage. Uh, Gapo, bruh, it's probably uh, Gapo and nuts up. Like, that's, she's just trying to... Uh... <laughs> That we don't whatever really like you know what I mean. <laughs> Do the thing where you say like, "Oh yeah, we ain't talking about this." Either way, like she's not focused on her fucking training. She's not ready to fucking win. This is a lock of the night. Like if you want to bet on Santos, you're not gonna fucking lose. I guarantee it. You know what I mean? Not on guarantee. Like I'm gonna give you some money, but I'm guarantee like. Bet the money and like I guarantee you ain't gonna lose. Huh? Whatever it is, it's a very easy fight for Santos. This is just like a I don't know, uh 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 trampoline jump up to do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Um because uh again, like she's 
she's not fighting a, a monster. She's fighting like a, a tomato can. Watch your fucking you know what mouth. So leaking tomato can. It's not even a tomato can. It's just like a tomato can. It's a leaking tomato can. We move on from that. All right. <laughs> Moving into the main card. We got a lightweight bout. We got Drew Dober going up against John Silva stepping in on about a couple weeks notice. Uh, moving up in weight for this one. Uh, we got Dober coming in. They are 13-9 with one no contest in the UFC. 27-13 with that one no contest overall. And are 3-2 and two in their last five fights. We got Silva coming in 2-0 and oh in the UFC. 13 and 2 overall, and they are currently on a 10 fight win streak. Uh, with their most recent victory coming about two weeks ago against Charles Jordan at UFC 303, ironically enough. Um, I'm gonna be going with Dober in this fight. They're the leading uh KO, they have the most KOs in the lightweight division. Uh, they're gonna be the bigger, stronger fighter. Uh, with John Silva stepping up in weight. Um, they're going to be the more powerful striker. Uh, they don't, their grappling ain't great, but um, I think that they should be able to keep it on the feet. I don't even think that Silva wants to take it there. And um, they train in, you know, Colorado, so I believe that they should have at least a good enough conditioning to, you know, get this fight done. These, both of these guys don't really like going to decision, so this fight shouldn't see the the cards. Um, Silva, dangerous striker, but moving up in weight, and um, I just believe that uh, their cardio hasn't really been tested, and I think this is the fight where that may happen. I don't see them putting Dober away right, right away, so um, I'm going to be going with Dober in this fight. <laughs> Definitely I go with Drew Dober. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking feel real clever. <laughs> um, Silva's my guy. I think Silva's everyone's guy. Um, it just makes sense. Um, Drew Dober is not gonna make it happen. I mean, I I'm not even gonna expound upon it. Because I could, but I don't want to. Because. Stupid little child! Oh, that's where we're at. <laughs> Alright. No, this is no move on from that. Uh, we got, um, let's see here. We got a featherweight bout. We got Christian Rodriguez going up against Julian Arosa. Uh, we got Rodriguez 4 and 1 in the UFC. 11 and 1 overall and 4 and 1 in their last 5 fights. We got Arosa coming in 7 and 7 in the UFC, 29 and 11 overall and 3 and 2 in their last 5 fights. I'm going to be going with Rodriguez uh either by like decision or submission. They're going to be the younger fighter by 5 or 9 years. Um they should have the edge in the grappling. They got okay enough hands in this fight and I think the only problem or concern I have is their gas tank. Um, Arosa uh, experienced at the UFC level. Edge and striking, but they're just not really powerful in my opinion. Um, their chin's in question at this point now. And uh, they oh. can grapple, but I, I feel like they primarily prefer to strike. They do have good cardio, so that's what definitely plays into their favor. Um, but I feel like this fight's going to primarily take place on the ground. So I'm going to be going with Rodriguez. Rodriguez is a great pick. Uh, Julian Rosa looks like the uh, the dude from Fight Club. Um, I can't remember the actor's name, but the dude was like sitting there playing his fucking computer. Whatever it is. Um, 
Christian Rodriguez is definitely going to win this you fight. you said that about somebody. Bruh. Oh, did I? Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? Like, it looks like a lot of motherfuckers would be sitting there playing at the computer thinking they're going to fight somebody. Shut your damn mouth. Anyway, um, I'm going with Christian Rodriguez. That's my guy. Um, we can go ahead and move to the next fight. All right, moving on. We got a middleweight bout between Cody Brundage going up against Abdul Razak Al Hassan. Um, we got Brundage coming in four and five in the UFC, ten and six overall, and two and three in their last five fights. We got Al Hassan coming in as six and six in the UFC, twelve and six overall, and two and three in their last five fights. I'm going to be going with Brundage in this fight. Uh, they just got more routes to victory. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. They're going to be the younger fighter by eight years. Uh, they're going to definitely have the edge in the grappling. Uh, Al Hassan has no grappling. Um, Brundage is going to uh, have that uh, Colorado conditioning, you know, training in this high altitude. Um, Al Hassan. Definitely dangerous striker, powerful striker, but um, if if they're not able to find that, you know, KO punch, then I just feel like it's going to be a lot of them on their back just trying to get back up or a lot of cage control, um, and their, their gas tank's going to be put to work, so we'll see if they have that at this stage in their career. I'll be going with Brundage on this one. I can agree with the Brundage pick. Uh, Brundage has, again, the Colorado uh, altitude thing. Um, he is a wrestler, a grappler, a fighter. He's a a mixed martial artist. Um, I don't think Alisson is. Alisson is a, a striker, just a pure striker. Um, not a great striker, but a pure striker. Um, so at the end of the day, Brundage wins it. Um, Brundage is going to make it happen. So that's where I'm at on that one. All right. Moving on, we got a welterweight bout. We got Gabriel Bonfim going up against Angelosa. We got Bonfim. They're 2-1 and one in the UFC, 15-1 and one overall, and 4-1 and one in their last five fights. We got Losa coming in, 2-1-1 one and one no contest in UFC, 10-3 uh, with that one no contest overall. And they are 3-1 and 1 no contest in their last five fights. I'm going to be going with Losa in this fight. Um, even by like decision or KO, I just believe that their gas tank is what's going to lead them to victory. Um, they'll have somewhat of an edge in striking. Uh, their grappling, I hope, is decent enough, you know, at least to just keep things on the feet. Because Bonfim basically is grappling specialist. That's where they're going to want this fight to take place at. That's where they're going to uh, basically fucking um, take down or die trying to get Lusa to the ground. And if they're not able to do that, I believe, like, by the first round, once it hits the second round in that first minute or two, He's going to not really have much to offer, and I think that's when Losa takes over. They'll probably win this, uh, like I said, either by decision or KO. I'm going to go my picks with Losa. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> fuck your fucking pick of Losa. Losa's fucking... Okay, no, my bad. Losa's good. Losa's a uh, very uh, technical fighter. Uh, Bomb theme is going to die on a shield. He's not going to ever go to his... Well, he may go to a decision at some point in his life. But he hasn't so far. All he wants to do is either KO a man or submit him. As he should. And I respect it. Um, Losa is a very technical person who wants to take them to a decision if he needs to. <coughs> Which is respectable. Bless you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's why I think he won't win. Because he does not <coughs> have the killer instinct in the UFC Bless of you. taking somebody out. Thank you. You have to be able to be that person who's going to either make somebody go to sleep, break, or be knocked the fuck out. And he does not have that in him. 
and bumping does and bumping is not going to not go out either on his shield or as a winner that's all he has in him and so that's why i think that bumping wins on this one all right well, moving on we got a uh the co-main event of the evening uh welterweight bout santiago ponzanibio going up against muslim salikov we got Ponzinibbio, 11-6 in the UFC, 29-7 overall, and 2-3 and in their last five fights. We got Salikov, they are 6-4 and four in the UFC, 19-5 and five overall, and 2-3 and three in their last five fights. Uh, I'll be going with Ponzinibbio to win this by KO or decision. They're going to be the taller, longer, uh, slightly younger fighter. Uh, they're definitely a dog fighter. Um, should throw more volume and can grapple, but I I see this fight primarily taking place on the feet. Uh, Salikov, they are uh, pushing forty, um, are are at forty. Um, dangerous striker, looking for more of like those pinpoint strikes. Uh, not gonna throw as much volume. Uh, not gonna be the faster striker in this bout, I believe. Uh, and their chin, you know, is starting to show some wear and tear. Um, I just think that they're not, they're going to be the slower, smaller fighter and just not be able to get this done. This is going to be a boring fucking fight. This is the fight where I get my beer. What did he say? Um, where I get like more beers. You're tripping. You think this Salikov, uh, whatever his fucking name, it doesn't even matter. Um, the other guy's going to win. Not Cyberclops, not going to win. Um, it's going to be a boring fucking fight. It's like going to be a grappling fest. Really, nigga? They're going to be laying on each other, uh, making, you know what I mean? Whatever happen. What? I just think you're tripping. No, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me why I'm tripping. Because they're going to strike. These are two strikers. These ain't fucking grapplers. It's going, they're not, like, that's the thing. Is they're going to like X out each other on that. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, the one duel is going to win. Uh, dude, the Salikov's going to lose. And that's where I'm at. Move it on. All right. All right. We're moving on to the main event of the evening. Hey, yo, what the fuck? You could probably just, like, <laughs> place that in on, like, some, some uh, gift shit or whatever. <laughs> I like that. Whatever. <laughs> we got a women's flyweight belt. We got the hometown hero. We got a uh, Rose Nama Tell you shit. We right back. This nigga. Oh damn! God damn, man. So anyway, yeah, we got the main event of the evening. We got Rose Nami Yunus fighting out of Denver, Colorado, going up against Tracy Cortez, stepping in on short notice. Uh, I'd say she probably maybe had about two weeks to prepare for this fight. Um, we got Nami Yunus coming in at 10 and 5 in the UFC, 12 and 6 overall, 3 and 2 in their last five fights. We got Cortez, they are 5 and 0 in the UFC. 11 and 1 overall, and they're currently on an 11 fight win streak. Um, I'm going to be going with Nami Yunus. She's uh, the former strawweight champion moving up in weight. This is their third fight in the flyweight division. Uh, they're currently 1 and 1. Um, they're just the more experienced fighter. Uh, they're the cleaner, better striker. They can grapple, but will prefer to probably keep this on the feet. Um, they train out here in Colorado, so they're definitely going to be used to the altitude, which isn't really going to be an issue for Cortez, I believe, either, because they, they're not really giving up much in that department either. Uh, I would just say in terms of preparation, them coming in on short notice, that's what's playing against them the most. Uh, but yeah, uh, the only thing that also, uh, concerns me, I guess, uh, well, I guess not with Nami Yunus. Um, 
what does concern me though with her is her mindset and her confidence. Sometimes she comes in on her game, and then other nights she'd rather be somewhere else. Um, Cortez undefeated in the UFC, well rounded, has a great gas tank. Um, only two finishes in their career though, so they're not really a dangerous fighter. They're more of a decision machine. They're gonna look to get this fight to the ground and just execute like uh wrestling and and ground and pound um control rows for a majority of the fight um but i don't think that's gonna happen i think rose is too skilled for that uh they got good uh grappling and um i just think that uh cortez if they're not able to get those takedowns rose is gonna find a way to finish i'm not quite sure yet if their power is translated over to 125 but uh, hopefully, if it has, then uh, they'll be able to uh, either win by KO or uh, decision in this fight. Let Who me just go ahead and tell you. This fight is Rose. Mama Eunice. My girl. From D. What was it? Anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> Rose Mama Yunus is definitely going to win uh, this fight. Uh, Rose Mama Yunus is um, A, at altitude. B, um, not the fighter that was uh, came in on short notice. Rose Mama Yunus is also a championship fighter uh, and a champion that has been a champion. She's moving up weight just because it's a little bit easier for her not to have to cut this weight. Yeah. Um, that's why Rose Namajunas is going to beat the shit out of Tracy Cortez. And she is the hometown girl. And there is no fucking reason in the world why she should lose. Uh, there we go. Yes, indeed. Well, that concludes our picks and predictions portion of this show. But before we end that segment, we're going to bring in... Our special guest, like we had mentioned earlier in the episode, we're going to bring... You know what? Wait. Let's get him in here real quick. I'd love to introduce our guest to the MMA Bros Talk MMA podcast show. It is the one, the only, wins low, wins fast, sometimes wins slow. But also, wins. also wins. <laughs> what you got to say for yourself? <laughs> What's up, everybody, man? Uh, glad to be on the show. Love the show. Shit's been great. Uh, won some money. Lost some money. Primarily betting, betting on Cam. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> into this <laughs> Let me in this bitch. <laughs> Shit, I, we should have just went with the first take that I did, man. Yeah, a lot, a you lot, didn't want to listen to me, man. A lot more respectful on the first fucking oh. take. <laughs> I've been watching you guys talk and drink. What do you, what do you think I was going to do? <laughs> hey, no, nah, you know, it, it is what it is. Bro does mm-hmm. have the higher winning percentage. Yeah. He is the all time picks leader right now as of. Mm-hmm. Six months, seven months into the motherfucking year, you know, I get Give it. me my belt. I get it. Hand me I'll, my crown. I haven't bet on all your picks because not all of them are right. Sometimes <laughs> you just be on some bullshit. <laughs> and Cam is very technical. He does his research. He has all the shit. If you watch all the past videos, which I've done, this fool has all the layouts, what they're doing, how they do it, how they may do it. This fool's just like, he's just going to get in there and piss on the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, is what he says. <laughs> but nigga, I be right sometimes. And most times. Most uh, times. Hey, record show. Anyways. Hey, 85% uh, of the time. But this is definitely <laughs> uh, one of our main supporters. Uh, my brother. This is my brother. Yeah. Like, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, my fault. I this is my bro. This is my bro. This is the the, 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 the the homie. You know what I mean? Uh. We be out here, uh, if you see me in the streets, like, more than likely, you're going to see me with one of these two motherfuckers. Sex! And there's not going to be anybody else. Hmm. These fools are usually eating, 
Me and this fool are fighting and drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so we do. I love that shit. Hey, give me another beer, bitch. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Well, uh, hey, it's an honor to have you on the show. We appreciate you being our first guest, my man. Absolutely. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Much love. I can't wait to go watch this, th these uh, fights. Yes, this weekend. He's actually, weekend. Like, so this is my first fight card ever. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a fight card uh, live. Um, Cam has seen so I've many seen, of them. Um, can you, ta ta how many have you seen? Uh, or, uh, can you, A, tell me how many you've seen and also which ones you've seen? Uh, if we're talking just UFC, then uh, I've seen, let's see, I've seen, I saw one in Broomfield. Uh, that was like uh, John Jones against uh, man. I forget. It was like I forget homeboy's name, but he broke his fucking orbitable. Orbitable. What? <laughs> or, or orbital. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, then I watched another one in Denver. Uh, it was uh, John Jones versus Rampage with uh, Nate Diaz going up against uh, Takanari Gomi. But then you did some traveling too. Yeah, yeah. I went to you did see. Some traveling. I went to see BJ Penn versus uh, Diego Sanchez mm -hmm. in uh, Memphis. Yeah. Um, and then I also have seen. Would you uh, like to hear about Justin him versus, going? Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. All right. right. So, I guess my question is: is uh, what is um, your particular picks? What do you feel on what's going to happen in Denver, your hometown? I need Milo to tell me I'm or, a, a or, or Young Wins. Well. Yeah, the, the, the hometown kid. Tell me what's going to happen. I'll, 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 run well. the, I'll run the fights down, yeah. and then you tell me yep. who you picked. All right. All right. Can so, you pick stuff? Let's take it. <laughs> first, first, first fight, we got a... Yeah, uh, more better sound. <laughs> just like... First fight, we got we got <laughs> Evan Elder going up against Darius Flowers. Okay. Like y'all fool said... It's a last minute fight, right? Mm hmm. And, uh, Flowers, Flowers, whatever, is, uh, he's an experienced fighter. Alder is more conditioned. Based off of what I was looking at, I got Alder. So it's get, he's going against your boy. But go ahead. I'm you know what I mean? He's going with Cam. He's going with Cam. Hey, hey. I don't, lose, I don't lose like that now. He's lost some money with me, but shit. Not like that. You know? No, you also want me see, some money, He sees too. the vision. He sees the hey, vision. Hey, Cam's want me some money, too. So hey. I don't get it twisted. Uh, <laughs> up next, we got uh, Jasmine Jazz Vicious going up against Fatima Klein. Yeah, so on this one, I'm going to go against both y'all. <gasps> both the underdog. Just because I feel like she's more hungry, really. So I'm gonna go with Klein. Oh damn! Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. This motherfucker's <laughs> losing his mind. I like that. I'm like not sure that. what drugs he's on. I bet against like both of you, he shouldn't be doing it. He shouldn't be doing it. Yep. All right. Moving on. Uh, Montel Jackson, uh, Demon Blackshear. Now this was a debate we had earlier, and uh, I know it's a toss up, but I'm gonna go with Jackson. I'm gonna go with Jackson. Uh, all right, all right, for sure. Just because he looks like a beast ass motherfucker. Um, <laughs> He's hating on me. It's all good, though. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we got uh, Joshua Van Charles Johnson. Uh, Cloud Gun Von Dam. Man, <laughs> come on now. All around fighter, right? Johnson's an up and comer, but I'm going to go with Van. Okay. Nice, nice. All right. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. Uh, we got Josh Fremd going, not my friend, <laughs> going, going up against not my friend. Uh, Andre that shit had me dying in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> shit was hard. This nigga was hating over here. I thought that shit was hard. Yeah. Uh, we got Josh Fremd going up against uh, Andre Petrosky. So I got Petrosky, even though he's lost two oh. games. You know, I, I just feel like he's gonna be the better fighter. Oh. What was the one that he was like? <laughs> was that the one? I think, yeah, I think, was that or Drew oh. Dober? I think it was the Dober oh, part. The Dober. Yeah. Dober part. Okay, we got All that right. coming up. Yeah. Uh, Luana Santos, uh, Mariah Gapova, Agapova, Agapova. Yeah, I got some uh, notes here that I probably shouldn't read out loud. Yeah, bro, don't, don't, don't say. 
Santos, no doubt. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, Santos has uh, better grappling, and so I'm gonna go with Santos on that one. Moving yeah. on, we got uh, Drew Dober, uh, John Silva. What, what was your take on Drew Dober and Silva? Come on. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we gotta shoot All this right, shit again. Let's cut it. <laughs> Short. Uh, uh, better striker, ground and pound. I'm gonna go with uh, Drew Dauber. I am. Hey, Silver is short notice. Bruh, on, I'm bro. telling you. It's going to be short well, notice. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to literally be there. So what's good? All right. All right. I, I want to see. I'm going to take the belt from this one. Give me my belt. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Oh! <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's good. Damn, son. Yeah, I'm going to take that one. New uh, guest. Christian Rodriguez, Julian Rosa. Okay, uh, Christian Rodriguez, I got uh, I got him. Eight years younger, better grappling, cardio is questionable, but uh, you know, I think he got the cardio over Julian. Ah, solid pick, my boy, solid pick. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Moving on, uh, Cody Brundage uh, versus uh, Al Hassan. Al Hassan is a good striker. But uh, Brundage, you know, he's younger. He's more emotive. I, I know he got some things going on in his life, and I feel like he's going to come out on top. Ah, love it, love it, love it. Look at my guy out here. He's picking right. All right. All right. <laughs> Getting back three. on track for you. We got huh? three more. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Gabriel Bonfim against Angelosa. Okay. Bonfim and Angelosa. Uh, I took Bonfim, even though the cardio is not quite there. You know the uh, Lusa is technical, but I think uh, Bonfim's grappling is going to get him. I think my brother loves a killer. Like I love a killer. Like we out here trying to watch motherfuckers kill motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Co-main event. We got uh Ponzinibbio versus Salikov. Mmm, this was a question. This was a good question. No, I took Ponzi. <laughs> Santiago is going to do it. More dangerous striker, right? Mm. Salikov is a technical striker, but hey, I go with the dangerous man. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, he's also, what, three years younger? Absolutely. He's, 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 he's mad younger, younger he's son. He's mad younger. younger. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're, both kind of old. They're both on the old end, but Salikov's a little right. older. Yeah. All right. Uh, main event, y'all. We got Nama Yunus, Cortez. Mm-mm-mm. My boy, I think my boy got the hot take on uh, this one. Uh, uh, oh, I got Cortez. Oh, I'm going with Cortez. God. I know. I know. Like I said, I fucking early, hate this shit. I said, I like an underdog. I like it, even though I root for the home city and everything, but you know, I think Cortez is gonna pull this one out. I think I think fucking Miz uh, is crushing right now. He's trying to bust a Riz right now hey, before we I'm get be to at the, the show. Pet, before we get the if ball I, arena. If I see her, you know, I might be icing up a cheek or two. <laughs> <laughs> My dog. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not gonna happen. Because Mama Eunice has been on my team for a long time. Ask Caleb Kai. Who the oh. fuck is that guy? <laughs> Damn. And I hope he watched my dog. Because I'm about to talk about it. Anyway, um, because I've got the parlay picks. I'm not sure if y'all are ready for the parlay picks. I'm going to let you go ahead and do your parlay picks, Cam. Uh-huh. Um... You have parlay picks there, uh, Young Wiz? I Wins? do not have a parlay pick on this Do you one. think you put, like, two together? Like, if you were going to say, who are the best two to three picks that you got in your in, in your shit? Why don't you all go ahead and pick y'all's? Okay. All right. All right. right. This is last minute shit. Bet. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. I love it. I'll start because I only got, like, a quick little three and then, like, That's a it? spicy four. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. So... Um, I'm gonna be going. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I'm acting up. I get it. My dog, I get it. 
I'd hate dealing with me too. But right, let me with this one. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. <laughs> For real. I did. Eleven to two. So I'm gonna say some shit. But I'm gonna let you go ahead and do your shit first. Go ahead. Alright, yeah. Let ten and thirteen go first. Then eleven and two can speak. No, you can go for it. Yeah. And then our guest. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let, let our guest know do it. since you put him on the hot seat. Yeah. Well, I did, I did a little bit. But it's yeah. all right. He's gonna be all right. Alright. Um, I got the three pick parlay. I'm gonna be going with Santos, Rodriguez, and Pons and Nibio. And then if you want to spice things up, it's looking spicy. I wanna, uh, I'm going to throw Rose on top of that. Can you slow it down for us? Because that was real quick. Yep. You said... Santos? Yes. Rodriguez? Yes. Ponzinibbio? Absolutely. And if you want to spice things up... Spicy. You're going right? to go with Nama Yunus to take the main event home. Okay. For the home, for the home crowd. So you got a four-pick parlay, huh? Yes. Yeah. Three, base three, spicy four. So I need y'all to know. <laughs> because it's a Denver event, I'm getting out of pocket. Oh, shit. So I'm moving to the bar. Parlay God's about to fucking. He's dissing our money. Huh? The stuff. Parlay God is going to give you the greatest parlays that ever been given. <laughs> My bad. Go ahead, that parlay tea? guy. Oh, <coughs> okay. It's fine. It's a small I'm going to start my parlay off <laughs> with Santos. Second part of it is Judah Vicious, right? If you want to do a pick, two pick parlay, it's a guarantee. If you want to make it better, you add a silver in there. It's a great parlay as well. Then there's a fourth pick that you can make. The fourth pick would be Rodriguez. But I don't only do that. I do a fifth. Oh, shit. Oh, a fifth shit. is Brunchic. That's a fifth pick parlay. Huh? That's a spicy one. No. No, he's got more. I've got more. God, <laughs> I'm grab a bigger one. This one's Brunchic. <laughs> Sixth pick. Sixth is Van. Man. Are you done though? No, I'm not done. Why would I be fucking done? <laughs> Do I look done? done? Oh, <laughs> Do you want to close the parlay out? Do you want to close the parlay out and make your shit dope? Bum theme. Now you got a seven pick parlay. It's going to make you. Five times whatever you put in. I think it's actually like seven times what you put in. You gonna stand on it? If, if win or lose? You gonna stand on those seven? I'm gonna stand on each part of it. Now, maybe I don't hit all of it. Come on, no. now, dog. I'm definitely gonna hit most of it. Come on, man. Okay. <laughs> I stand on my three versus your three. Oh, yeah. So oh. if you lose, well, no, no. you're doing nope. 50 push ups. Your three, your three pick parlay <laughs> versus my three pick parlay. 50 push ups. You want to do that? Yeah. I'll put that money in. Okay. Shake hands, gentlemen. What are you putting on it? Hey, y'all witnessing it. All right. Uh, $20. And 50 push ups. 50 push ups. Yeah, I'm not trying to work that hard. <laughs> but we can. I guess we have to. <laughs> Welcome to these niggas. <laughs> My girl loves these titties. Anyway. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm like, in my head, I'm like, does she? Does she love them titties? Does she might, nigga. Does she really you don't know. know. You're not sure. <laughs> I'm like, yo, girl, she my girl. <laughs> Oh, shit. Anyways. All right. Well, now that concludes the first inaugural special guest picks and predictions portion of the show. Uh, brought to you in part by my brother, my man, my motherfucking uh, date, like for real day one. I met this man when I was like fucking like five, six years old, bro. 
We yeah. got Young Wins in the building. Yeah. Aptly, aka, I got a, I got a, I got a new moniker for my man's here. We're gonna call him Young Wins, aka, in the comments. Oh in the shit! Comments. Who was yours? Nah, man, fuck that shit. That's trash. How <laughs> dare you? Fuck you, nigga. No, nah, nigga, that's nah, <laughs> we're going with that. Bro. Like, that's gonna be a party. You can give him one too, but don't be fucking hating on me, nigga. Shit, don't me like, anyway, we're called <laughs> your wish uh -huh. from the beginning. You know what I mean? Like uh, in the comments, off the top, want some money? Didn't win money. No, I didn't win money. No, you didn't. Well, yeah, you exactly. didn't See, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This nigga, man, this is why I don't be, you know. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Whatever. It's uh, it's Ray Bucks. It's Chaco Jordan. It's what? We're not going there. It's, it's not really necessary. It's not that part quite yet. <laughs> but if you want to, we can just go. Go ahead, man. Like. Right. <laughs> I you were giving me a name. What? All right. That's what you were doing. I tried to, and then like you niggas like sit there and look, like look at me all weird and shit. I don't like that shit. Nigga, you, sh you shitted on me like you had something, you know, like <laughs> ill on deck, and you started freestyling. I thought it was gonna be dope. I thought it was gonna be dope, super dope. I was like getting hyped though. Oh yeah, yeah, like my shit, my shit has relevance. My man's actually been in the comments repping for us, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, giving testimonies, advocating, you know, for the people to, okay. you know, check us oh. out. So it's uh, Young Prince, day one from A1. Mm -hmm. okay. Mr. Fucking from the streets to the beefs. Holmes. <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, so, all right. folks, uh, <laughs> make sure to like, subscribe. Mm -hmm comment and share the channel uh like on some real shit i'd really like to start performing some more like lives from this uh channel so uh we got about like 15 or so that we need to get to that 50 marker so that we can start doing some lives off of here providing some more content uh we do have some cool stuff coming up that we'll be posting on our ig so make sure you follow that ig at bros talk mma you can follow my bro here at r1.mason, and you can follow me at uh, Utica underscore SME. Where can they follow you, my man? It was at this moment that he knew. Oh, no, somebody no, might no follow me. Somebody might win money off you, bro. Nobody follow me. <laughs> <laughs> no, for that. Only my uh, big money is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. Anyway. I'm out. With that being said, this has been another episode of your favorite MMA sports betting channel, Bros Talk MMA. I'm your host, Utica, undeniably the illest cat around, a.k.a. Mr. Make This Pick Real Quick, a.k.a. the Parlay Prince. I'm here with my bro host extraordinaire. It's Ray Bucks. It's Chaco Jordan. It's Mr. Hand Me My Crown. Give Me My Belt. I'm Black Nostradamus. I'm Black Jesus. Y'all know what it is. And I'm here with my guy. New moniker. New moniker. Boom. We gonna. Uh, I'll let. I'll let. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you uh, do your thing real quick before I bestow this new moniker on you. I'm Young Wins. AKA. Young. In the comments. AKA. Young Wins real quick. Young wins every day. Young wins all the time. Young wins on all you bitches. <laughs> AKA. <laughs> <laughs> That's Guest extraordinaire. Yes. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Appreciate y'all. Yes. My marker's are solid, right? Hey. <laughs> hey, love watching it. We got more to we we're gonna you gonna see more of my man's here uh yes, and more episodes to come. But Thank until you. then, good luck to everybody on this card. Happy betting. And until next time, we out.